Hi, in this video I want to explain the difference between transition versus transversion mutations. For example, can you answer such a question if, for example, changes in DNA sequence, one base, uh, if it would be mutated and change it to, um, for example, uh, thymine to cytosine or guanine to um, adenine, uh, would it be um, transition mutation or transversion mutation. If you hesitate in how to answer this question, uh, in a few minutes you would be able to do it very easily and I hope you would remember my explanation for the long time and you wouldn't make a mistake. So uh, I hope everyone knows that uh, A pairs with T and C pairs with uh, G so this part is easy. I want to start a build a square and a uh, square has four corners. So for the left uh, top corner, I would use uh, A. And it's also easy to remember that we start with A because this is the first letter of the alphabet. So A, I would put in the left top corner and A pairs with uh, T. So I would put T in the uh, lower right corner and C pairs with G so I would put uh, uh, them uh, on the opposite sides and now I would draw a figure that uh, looks like sand um, clocks and here I show all the possible uh, uh, mutations. So each line uh, represents different mutations. For example, A can be changed to C, C to G, or vice versa, G to C, uh, A to T, T to G, or T to A. So as you see, all the possible here um, mutations would be uh, transversion. So I would use the same color here and this is going to be transversion. So uh, just uh, in a minute I would explain you how to remember which is transversion and which is transition and um, here, I just want to highlight that uh, cytosine is a base that consists of one ring. This is a ring uh, made of six carbons. So here, carbons. And uh, the same with uh, xymine, it's also one ring base with six carbons and uh, I don't uh, show here all the uh, double bonds and uh, also side chains uh, because this is not important for this explanation so we have on the right side uh, pyrimidines so this is would be pyrimidines And on the left side we have purines, and purines have uh, two rings. So one ring would be would have six carbon, and another ring would have five carbons. And the same with guanine. This is going to be two rings one six carbon another one five carbon rings and this is going to be uh, purines so now uh, how to memorize and this is uh, i think also easy so uh, on the right side you see pyrimidines but uh, this is long word 
and uh, these bases only have one ring, so bases short, what, long. And here we have uh, large bases that consist of two rings, but the word Purines uh, is short. So it's, uh, I think, easy to remember that uh, one ring bases have a long name and two uh, ring bases have short name. So now I think uh, you wouldn't uh, forget this. And uh, here I just want to show transition and transition would be here and here. So uh, this would be transition uh, as long as uh, of course this one. This also would be transition. So um, how to remember where transition and uh, where uh, transversion? Because you may remember this picture, you may remember where A, T, C and G to put, but uh, you may still be confused which uh, word to use. And this is my method. I think this is very simple. So consider uh, that um, changes, uh, for example, cytosine to xymine. Uh, this is would be one ring base would change, mutate and change to one ring base. This would be a transition and this is more favorable process than uh, any of these uh, changes uh, that I show here with red lines. And uh, um, transitions happens much more frequently in nature. For example, when we have two DNA that we have to compare and uh, this would be two species, you would have uh, much more uh, transition mutations and uh, transversion mutation. And this is much more favorable process. And uh, my method to memorize uh, is just consider uh, transition. It's just like, for example, a transition of uh, um, child into adult or boy uh, into man. So this is normal process and transversion because of this trans we have here. Same suffix like in word transgender. Transvestite change of the gender like uh, from man to woman for example. So this is uh, less uh, or uh, not natural process at all and least favorable and all these changes one ring base to two uh, ring base or two ring base to one ring base here so we have uh, many different combinations here uh, would be least uh, favorable and such mutations happens uh, much less frequently than for example uh, Purinus uh, change with another base that is also purine or uh, pyrimidine uh, with uh, another base that is also pyrimidine. So such uh, changes that I show here with green color would happen much more frequently. So uh, just brief uh, reminder, uh, we built uh, our square starting with A and put T here that is uh, A pair always pairs with uh, T and C always pairs with G. So we built our square. Now we built a uh, send clock. So this is would be a transversion. And you have to remember that on the right side we have uh, Parmedinus uh, one ring uh, basis with long name. And on the left side we have uh, uh, Purines to uh, ring bases with short name and uh, favorable would be uh, transition when we change one base uh, uh, for example one ring base with another one ring base and this would be more favorable 
uh, then uh, changes of one ring base with uh, two ring base or vice versa. So now you can answer this question here that I start this uh, um, explanation with. So uh, we have xymine and uh, cytosine here. So we have uh, xymine and cytosine. So you know that this is would be transition and guanine and adenine uh, also would be transition. So now uh, you would be able to answer similar questions if you would have on your exam. This is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. I hope you won't uh, forget this video. And uh, that's all. Goodbye.